Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. Today I got another update for you with the tomato series, and as you see, the plant has grown quite a bit. The last time I showed you guys, the plant was about 4 feet tall. Now we're looking at a nice 6 foot tall tomato plant, guys. Or 2 tomato plants, for that matter. Uh, we got the black vernissage and the cherry tomato plant right now. The blue green Wagner unfortunately did not make it guys, I had a lot of complications with it. So most likely I'm just going to restart it after the series and I'll show you guys what the plant looks like a little bit later. But for now we're going to focus on these two plants for the re uh, remainder of the growth. But overall guys, the plants are doing really well as you can see they have taken over the second level up above over here. And it's really way above the grow lights at this point. Um, I'm not going to trim it anymore because I'm going to lose just a whole lot of growth and time and energy for no reason. Um, I kept on trying to trim it the plant and cut it and clip it and things like that. You could even see just down below um, just how overgrown. Let me try to get a better angle actually. Let me show you guys one moment. Yeah, so you could see that the plant is just overgrown guys. It's going right directly into the grow lights and even after trimming it two days, three days later, it's going to be right back at the same level, so there's just no point in clipping anything anymore. And leaving everything as is, I will still mo most likely get a whole lot more flowers and, and fruits developed after that. So for now, you can see that the plants are doing really well. There's a lot of flowers that are developing. And after switching the nutrients, I actually changed the ratio that I'm using. Um, I noticed the plant was suffering a little bit, so I actually increased the nutrients that, that I have in the system. I added to, uh, 3 grams of master blend, 3 grams calcium nitrate, and 2 grams of Epsom salt. And that seems to have worked really well for, this, for both of these tomato plants. It increased the parts per million to about 1300. And I actually had to adjust the pH was way off also. The pH was around like a 6.8, 6.9. And after adjusting it, I brought it down to about a 5.9, about a 6.0. And the plants are just loving it right now. Both of them are doing really well and they're just really developing a lot of flowers right now. Let me just show you guys. One stalk of flowers has, it looks like about 10 flowers on it. Um, and overall, <coughs> excuse me guys, overall the plant is doing really, really well, I think. Um, I actually had to also hang up, you could see this little rope over here just to kind of support the plant a little bit, give it a little bit more stability and something to kind of brace up against so it doesn't overlap this way. You could see that it's overlapping the grow lights on the outside and just reaching straight up over here, kind of leaning back towards the window back there where you could see a whole lot of sunlight is just penetrating through. And the plant is doing really well guys, as well as I started spraying uh, seaweed extract on it every single day. I spray it usually at nighttime, and I got this new spray bottle. This thing is amazing. I'll put a link in the description bar down below. This mister is just phenomenal. Look at this long, long spray, guys. Absolutely incredible. And it makes watering this plant and just spraying it down such a breeze, and it makes it really easy. And it's a nice, long spray. I really like that, actually, a lot. And super fine mist. All right, I'm getting distracted, guys. I just really like this mister. Super incredible and super cheap. I'll let you guys check that out for yourself if you're interested. As well as I got a couple more little things that I'm going to be testing out. I got these new grow cubes that I'm trying out. These little starter plugs seem to be doing pretty well for me. I'll show you guys an update with that really soon. I'm just kind of want, trying out the kinks a little bit this way you guys could see what's coming. And I'll give you guys actually a little sneak peek of what's about to pop in really soon. I already got the grow lights set up. I'm just waiting for the new light bulbs to come in. I'm switching these T5 grow, uh, light bulbs, these fluorescents, to some LED grow lights. It was super pricey, honestly, to replace three grow lights. It ran me like a good maybe close to $500, but it will be way, way worth it, guys. The amount of, of energy and energy consumption that it's going to take to run one, two, three grow lights is the amount of energy that it costs to basically run just one of these fluorescents. So, it's going to pay, pay forward in the long run, and I am going to have a whole lot of veggies and greens. You could even see right here, I got these buckets that I got already set up, waiting for the containers to come up above. We'll talk about that really soon, guys. I digress. But for now, tomato plants are doing real good. Before we go, let's take a quick look at the root system and 
I'll see you guys back for more episodes. You can see the cherry tomato plant looks super healthy, really white. And the black vernissage looking really good guys. So both containers look like they got about, this one has I see two, just over two gallons. And this one has just about one and a half gallons. So I'm gonna try to maintain the, the nutrients. I'm gonna most likely top it off a little bit, maybe in about a day or two, I'll add another gallon or two of water and just let it, let it do its thing. So that's the episode guys. If you like it, please show me some love, hit that thumbs up, post any messages or comments down below. I'll do my best to respond. We'll be back soon for more. As always, thank you so much for watching.